Okay, now that we have our layer one layer with our first layer of color on it, which is right here, I'm going to hide all these layers. That's our layer one layer with all of our color on it. We have our threshold layer and our two main layers with our photographs on it. Okay, you can leave the main photo layer hidden. That's just there, just in case we do a mess up and we can just go back to that, pick up where we left off. Okay, now the first thing you want to do is flatten all of our layers together. So to do this, you want to click right here at the top of your layers palette, upper right corner, click that icon that looks like three lines and a little triangle and hit flatten image. Okay? By doing this, you're smushing all your layers together into one layer. Discard hidden layers. If that pops up, just click OK. And there we go. We have one layer now. Okay? Keep your ants. Don't get rid of your dancing ants yet. If you got rid of your dancing ants, okay, if you deselect them by accident, just go back up to select color range, click the black, and hit OK, and you'll have a new selection. Then you want to go to select inverse to select the green areas. Okay? Now you want to make a, a copy of this layer. So in order to make a copy, you need to unlock it. So double click that layer. We're going to name this green layer. Okay? And then hit OK. Click and drag your green layer over the new layer icon and you'll get a green layer copy that pops up. Okay? Now, your next step is to decide what color I want to use next to fill in the same area that's green. I'm going to use purple. So you click on purple with your eyedropper. Make sure it's in the foreground area. Do edit, fill, make sure this is clicked on foreground, and then click OK. And now the green layer copy has turned into a purple layer. So we are going to rename this layer to purple layer. Okay? You want to do that at least two more times. So you want to copy purple layer. Make sure you always copy your very top layer. Okay? And I'm going to use blue in this one. Okay? So I want to do an edit fill, foreground color, click OK, and it fills with blue. I want to copy one more time. I'm going to use red this time. So I'm going to click the red, do edit, fill, foreground color, click OK. Now it's filled with red. Now I have my four layers. You need at least four layers to do this part of the project. Okay. Now we want to get rid of our dancing ants. So to get rid of those ants, you do a control D to get rid of the ants. Then, in order to make sure every single one of your layers are the same size, I want you to hold the shift key. Make sure you're starting from your very, very tip top layer. Hold the shift key and click your very, very bottom layer. So I clicked first on my purple layer, copy two, which actually I need to rename these. So this layer will become blue layer. if I can type, and this layer will become red layer, okay? Now, like I just said, you want to make sure you're clicked on the first layer, very top layer first, hold your shift key on your keyboard, and then click the very bottom layer on your layers, in your layers palette, okay? Then go up to the top right corner where those three lines are, click that, and hit link layers. By doing this, when I transform them, by using my shortcut control T, I am transforming all four layers at the same time. This way, they are all the same size. Okay? Once you get it to be a size that you like, hit enter, and that bounding box for transforming things will go away. Then go back over to your layers palette, unlink your layers, so now they're not linked anymore, and let's click on our very first layer. Okay, now we need to do the arrangement. Andy Warhol did several prints of the same image but in different colors for pop art. Okay, he used 
repetition in his work to make something that was visually interesting to look at. So you want to make sure you're clicked on your first layer and that you're using your move tool. So just click and move over. If you hold the shift key, it'll move in a perfectly straight line. You can use your arrows to nudge together. Then I'm going to leave my blue one there and I'm going to go to my purple layer, hold the shift key and pull it straight down. Okay. Then I'm going to click on my green layer, hold the shift key, pull it over to the right. Let go, hold the shift key, pull it straight down. Now, I have an Andy Warhol style collage of a good friend of mine and I when we went kayaking. So now, not only is it easy to be able to get an Andy Warhol photo, but the Andy Warhol photo is a photo of you. So very nice job. Now what we want to do is merge all of these layers. Okay, so we're going to flatten the image again. Then we're going to use the crop tool to crop your image so that way there's none of this extra white space. I want to hit enter and now it's cropped. Once you get to this part, I want you to do a file, save, save it in your iDrive, and send or come to me and tell me you're ready to print and I will print it for you. Okay, if you want a copy, let me know so I can print more than one at once.